Welcome dear students, we are on the CEC Gurukul lecture. In the today's lecture, we are discussing about the surface mount technology. What is surface mount technology? When we mount the electronic components on the surface of the PCB, then it is the surface mount technology and the devices prepared is the surface mount devices. So, up to now we have discussed what is surface mount technology as well as what are the application of surface mount technology and now we will discuss the limitations of the surface mount technology. Despite providing a host of the benefits within the electronic industry, surface mount technology has several rim limitations. The first limitation is that the SMT is not suitable for the components that carry high electrical energy or generate significant heat as the solder integrity may be compromised. Uh, if we uh, put it the SMT at at a high temperature then the soldering of the points may be opened. So, SMT is not suitable for the component to carry out the high electrical energy and uh, moreover it is not suitable for the large volume or the pilot scale fabrication and uh, this uh, miniature size SMT assemblies are difficult to repair. So, often requiring the specific expertise are required for the manufacturing or the repair or the assembly of this SM devices. Often requiring the specific ex expertise, costly downtime and the sophisticated equipments used in this SM devices. Now, up to now we discuss the SMT technology that we will use, what are the limitations and, and what are the uh, advantages of the SMT. Now, what is the devices prepared by using the surface mount technology? The devices are the surface mount devices uh, or that is called the SMD. What is this SMD? SMD is the term used for the electronic component within the surface mount assembly processes. There is a wide range of the SMD component packages available on the market and come in many shape and sizes and some of them are displayed on the screen. You are seeing here these are the component that is used in the assembly of the surface mount devices. Now, SMD design and fabrication, how we will do it? The surface mount design and fabrication can be done by selecting the required components. The process start with the design engineering, developing a schematic or layout that will be fit for the board. So, so after selecting the required component, the process starts in design engineering developing or a schematic or a layout showing where each one fits on the board. So, preparing the SM devices, so first is the, is the layout should be prepared. So, that layout prepared then on the basis of that the component will be selected. The PCB design is a software based process using the computer aided design in which we use the CAD tools. Following several uh, iterations, the engineer sends the schematic final schematic for the development of the SM devices for the fabrication and the sources that require the components. So, in the surface mount process, the first process is that the SMT process starts during the design phase when the many different components are selected on the basis of that design, on the basis of the requirement. Then PCB is designed using a software package such as our CAD and the CAD star. These, these softwares are used for the simulation or for the first we prepare the schematic of that. The process start at this stage as this is the best time to incorporate so many design features as possible that will make production straightforward in the head egg free. So, quite often circuits are taken from the schematic design phase to PCB layout with the main consideration being the functionality which 
of course the very important so when we design the component to now the now the schematic diagram prepared after the component will be selected but the functionality is the main important the very important and, and but the design for manufacturing assembly should ideally be incorporated as preparation of the devices once the pcb design has been prepared the component selected for the next phase and and send the pcb data away for the pcb manufacturing company the components who the most suitable may be will be facilitate automation the components selected after that these component are mounted on the pcb boards so first the pcb panel decided after that the components are selected for that so pcb panel design should be considered and the specification created including the including pcb surface finish to ensure that the format pcb are received is an expected and the suitable for the machine to be used the main aim is that the output should be as per the requirement there and in designing of the pcb the components are available packaged in many different ways such as the reels in tubes or in a tray as can seen Uh, in the diagram, most of available on the reels, which is preferred, but sometimes due to minimum order quantities, components are quite often supplied in the tubes or in the short strip or the tapes, so that it can be easily uh, available for the uh, development of the. sm devices both of these packaging types can be used but do need appropriate feeder types component supplies loose in the bags should be avoided if the possibility can be lead to handle the placement and need of the special feeding plates these are the main point that keep in the mind developing so packaging is the most important in development of the assembly devices so what is the packaging the first point is the packaging when we just uh, develop the sm devices assembly ship in a wide range of the packages we use the most common type of standard tape or reel or cut tape packaging done for the device development for the former the manufacturer loads units of ms smd in the small packet on continuous embossed tape wound around a base for easy transport but now it is the most common type of standard tape or reel or cut tape packaging are done mounting style the surface mount components usually contain the small lead contacts with in the form of the pins of various styles it may be of the g shape j shape or maybe gull wing shape so that extend from the side or on the body of the package and in the some variants in the some variants the lead contacts are underneath the device as a grid pattern so the accordingly that will be mounted the mounting technology technology depends on the pin configuration and the pin count of smd that vary from package to package and the as per the as per the device development as per the device which we are making so uh, next point is the smt soldering the two standard techniques for the soldering used in the smt first is the reflow soldering and second is the wave soldering these two technology used for the soldering and devices so first point was the packaging second is the mount style and third is the smt soldering in development of the development of the surface mount devices so what are these two type of soldering reflow soldering in which uh, one of the most widely adopted uh, technique we are using here for attaching the smd on to the pcb the idea is to create the high integrity solder joints through the four stages one is the preheating the pcb solder paste 
SMD itself to specific temperature like so dwell temperature are used and uh, passing the preheated material into the second 60 to 120 second thermal soak zone of the specific temperature are used for the entire assembly unit and it must reach is at the thermal equilibrium the assembly enters into the reflow zone where the solder around the SMD is melted at a maximum allowable temperature of the process without causing thermal damage of any of the component. So, uh, the, the temperature should be maintained accordingly so that the reflow zone created and the soldering can be done. Reflow soldering is done using a reflow oven with a unique thermal profile setting to distribute the heat precisely and uh, in a predictable manner cooling the entire assembly at the specific rate to allow the solders join to solidity now next is the wave soldering so uh, the first is reflow and second is the wave soldering then the wave soldering is uh, ideal for the large scale of pcb fabrication and is suitable for both the surface mount as well as, as well as through whole components are used in this assembly. It uh, typically involves the following stage. Number one is the spraying flux, where spraying flux onto the PCB to eliminate the oxides from the surface of the PCB and prevent the secondary oxidation during the thermal process and lower the surface tension of the solder paste. So, in doing the wave soldering, first point is the spraying flux. Preheating of the PCB, passing the PCB over a wave soldering machine to apply the solder, controlled cooling the PCB to the, at the room temperature is there. So, these are the process which are used in development of the SMD. Now, what are the SMD components and types of SMD components? So, SMD components or the surface mount electrical components of for SMD are not different from through hole components as far as the electrical function is concerned. Because they are similar, smaller, however, the SMC surface mount components provides a better electrical performance as compared to the previous one, PCBs. Not all components are available in the surface mount for electronic PCB. PCB assembly at this point has the full benefit of the surface mount on the PCB are not available. So, we are essentially limited to the mix and match surface mount assembly and development of the surface mount devices. The use of through hole components such as BGA and the pin grid array for high end processors and the large connectors will keep the interest in mixing the assembly mode for the foreseeable future. So, these are the components where we are having on the screen that that will be used on the surface of the PCB and making the electronic devices. Now, oh, availability of the different type of the SMD components while uh, only a few type of conventional DIP packages meet all the packaging requirements, the, the world of the surface of the surface mount packages is vastly more complex. So, availability of the different type of SMD components should be there where we use the uh, where we use the two devices. First is the passive SMD components and second is the active passive active SMD components uh, and we will discuss the name and list and identification of these uh, components. Uh, so, world passive surface mount uh, uh, mounting is sometimes simple but uh, monolithic ceramic capacitors tantalum capacitors and the thick film resistors from the core of the group of passive SMD and <laughs> these are under the parts of the, of the SMD. The shapes are generally rectangular of these devices or cylindrical may be possible. The mass of the components of about 10 times lower than 
there through the whole counterparts it is a, uh, it is a small as well as slimmer or as having the less weight the surface mount resistors and the capacitors come into the various case sizes to the meet the needs of the various applications so in the electronic industries there is a trend towards the shrinking the case size larger case sizes are also available if the capacitance requirements are larger so according to the need the size will be adjusted in this devices these devices components come in both the rectangular and tabular form like metal electrode leadless shape so these are the passive mounted devices and these are the rectangular or the cylindrical in shape surface mount discrete resistors first which is the passive passive component and this is the thick film and the thin film also the two main category of this resistors it 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 comes in the two forms thick film or the thin film the thick film surface mount resistors are constructed by screening resistive films resistive film on a flat panel by using the semiconductor material and based on a similar material high purity alumina substrate are used as a surface as opposed to deposit the resistive films on it on the ground on the round core as a axial resistor so the resistance value is obtained by varying the composition of resistive paste before screening and laser trimming the film after screening the thin film resistors the resistive elements on the ceramic surf substrate are used with protective coating on the with protective coating that coating may be glass passivation on the top of the solderable terminations tin lead on the sides we will use so the terminations have a adhesion layer that is a silver deposited as thick film paste on the ceramic substrate the board is prepared by using the ceramic surface uh, ceramic substrate and the nickel barrier under plated followed by the dipped or the plated solder coating the nickel barrier is very important in preserving the solderability of the termina terminations because it prevents leaching dissociation of the silver or the cold electron during the smd soldering so for protecting the smd soldering uh, solder soldering uh, we use the nickel barrier that is for preserving the solderability and the resistors come resistors that is used in this uh, smd are of the 1 by 60 1 by 10 1 by 8 1 by 4 watt rating in 1 ohm to the 100 mega ohm resistances in the various sizes and various tolerances commonly used sizes are 0402 0603 0805 One two zero six and one two one zero. A surface mount resistors has the some form of the colored resistive layers with the protective coating and one side, generally a white base material on the other side. You see, this is a surface mount resistors. The outer appearance offers a simple way to distinction between the resistor and the capacitor, and these are the resistors which are used for the surface mount. and uh, surface mount resistor networks where uh, up to now we discuss the resistors now the resistors of the uh, networks surface mount resistors networks or the r packs are commonly used as a replacement for a series of the discrete resistors so this saves the real estate and the placement time the current available style are based on the popular soic but the body dimensions vary they generally come in the 16 to 20 pins with 1 by 2 or 2 watt power per package these are the these are the resistor packages you see as on the screen we are having now ceramic capacitors or the smt 
what are the ceramic capacitor resistor capacitors are used the ceramic capacitors that is used in the surface mount technology are ideally for high frequency circuit application because it does not have any leads and can be placed underneath the packages on the opposite side of the pcb assembly the most widely used packaging for ceramic capacitor is the 8 mm tape or the reel so surface mount capacitor are used for both the decoupling applications and the frequency control multi layer monolithic ceramic capacitors have improved volumetric efficiency so they are available in the different dielectric type of the devices so so surface mount capacitors are highly reliable as you see on the screen there is a assembly of the surface mount capacitor and is used in high volume in under the hood automotive applications military equipment and aerospace application we use this surface mount technology so the surface mount capacitors the dielectrics can either be ceramics or tantalum you see this is the this is the device which we are using surface mount tantalum capacitors surface uh, capacitors are of high volumetric efficiency or high capacitance voltage product per unit volume and high reliability is there this uh, wrap and the lab ca led capacitors commonly called the plastic molded tantalum capacitors and have leads instead of terminations and a and a we weld top as a polarity indicators there are no soldering or the placement concerns when using the molded plastic tantalum capacitors they are available in the two case sizes first is the standard and second is the extended range and the value vary of these capacitors from 0.1 to 100 uh microfarad and uh, from uh, from 4 to 50 volt dc in the different case sizes they can also be custom made as per the requirement of the application so these capacitors are available with the without the mark capacitance values in the bulk and uh, and uh, next is a uh, tabular passive smd components of the sm the cylindrical the cylindrical devices known as the metal electrode leadless faces that is melfs are used for resistance resistors jumpers ceramic and the tantalum capacitors and the diodes are used they are cylindrical and have the metal end caps for the soldering and they these resistors do not have to be replaced with the resistive elements away from the board surface as is the case with the rectangular resistors and it is less expensive and like the conventional axial devices and you see on the screen this is the diagram of the capacitors which are used in the electronic circuits and again the resistor identify by the name 08051206140602309 what are the active smd components up to now we discuss the passive components now the active components the surface mount offers more types of the active and passive packages than through hole technology here we have the various categories of the active components first is the leadless ceramic chip carriers that uh, in the name indicates that the leadless chips carriers have no leads and instead so they have the gold plated groove shaped terminations known as as uh, as it provides the shorter signal path allowed higher operating frequency so lcc's can be divided into different uh, families depending upon the pitch of the packages so the most common is the 50 and the family where uh, others are the 40 25 and 20 families now ceramic leaded chip and that carry that is known as clcc and uh, lead ceramics carry carriers are available in both the pre leaded and the post leaded formats 
the preloaded chip carriers have copper alloy or copper lids that that are attached by the manufacturers right so in uh, post leaded chip carriers the user attach the lids to the the devices and that is that is diagram of this ceramic leaded chip the active assembly component um, must be in the plastic packages as discussed we that the ceramic packages are expensive so we use the primary for the military applications the plastic assembly packages are used nowadays on the other hand are most commonly used the packages for the non military applications where the hermeticity is not a required so the ceramic packages have solder joints cracking due to the ct ct if mismatch between the packages and the substrate but the plastic packages are also not trouble free so what are the plastic packages in component first is a small outline transistors and these transistors uh, are uh, uh, devices for the surface mount uh, technology and the small outline transistors are one of the four runners of the active devices and there are three or four led devices and there they, there are the uh, basic are the SOT23 SOT89 and the four led devices are SOT143 like that these packages are generally used for diode and transistors as SOT23 and 89 packages have become almost universal for the surface mount small transistors so even the use of high pin counter complex integrated circuit has become the wide spread in development of the smt the demand for the various type of sots and sots are continue to grow small outline integrated circuit so that is soic and so the small outline integrated circuit soic is basically a shrink packages with leds on uh, 0.50 inch centers it is used for the house larger integrated circuit that is possible in the sot packages so in the sot packages uh, soic are used for the house multiple sot soic contains leds on the two side that is formed outward in uh, what is generally called the gull wings led so soic is needs to be handled carefully to prevent the damage of these leds and mainly two different bodies are used 150 and 300 and uh, this is the next is a plastic leaded chip carrier uh, this is uh, in the diagram we are seeing that this is a plastic leaded chip carriers and is a cheaper version of the ceramic chip carrier so the leds in plcc provides the compliance needed to take up the solder joint stress and uh, thus prevent from the solder joint cases apart from this we are having a small outline j packages that is sog sog packages have the j band led leds like plcc next is the fine pitch smd packages that is qfp and sqfp so these are the quite flat pack and the shrink quite flat pack and that example of fine pitch packages fine pitch packages have thinner lead and uh, require the thinner require the thinner lead pattern designing another is the ball grid array and smd components that is array packages like pga pin grid array but without a leds so there are the various uh, components what is the significance of the surface mount technology surface mount technology is a breakthrough method that will continue to shape electronic design for many years to come so in main benefit is that it allows large number of the components uh, to be integrated on a small pcb while maintaining a high degree of accuracy and repeatability so used along with the through hole components smd helps to increase design complexity while conserving valuable board space thank you very much